Hello everyone, as you can see I'm playing Age of Empires 2, one of my most favorite games. Now there is a problem with this game. If you go to the options, you will notice that there are only three resolutions available to play this game. And the problem is that these resolutions are pretty small for today's standards. So what I'm going to show you in this video is how to mod the game so that you can play at any resolution. So let's let me show you how this is done. Let's exit the game. And before I forget, this mod only works with the Conqueror's expansion. So if you only have Age of Empires 2, you will need to get the expansion in order to get this to work. With that in mind, let's go to the Internet Explorer and in Google type AOE2 wide, one word. And it should be the second link. I'm also going to post the address so that you don't have to use Google. So there are two files that you want to download from this website. The first one is this one over here, h2 underline x1.exe. So click on it and download it. I'm going to put it in my desktop just for now. Close. And the second file you want to download from here is at the bottom and it's called uh, right here. AOE2 wide setup underline r40.msi. So also download this one and save it to the desktop. Very well. Once we have those two files, we will not need this website anymore, so we can close it. Okay. So the first thing to do is open the location of the Conqueror's expansion. So right click on the shortcut icon and select open file location. Okay. This location should be in your C drive, program files, Microsoft Games, Age of Empires 2, H2 underline X1 in case you don't have the open file location feature. Anyway, what you want to do is move this file that we downloaded to this folder. But before you do that, you have you will have a file that is called the same thing in this folder. So you want to rename it to let's see original. Original. Yes. In case that you make a mistake and it doesn't work, you can just delete this file once you move it here. You can delete it and then have the original one in case something goes wrong. Which shouldn't happen, but if in case it does. Anywho, let's close this because we will not need it anymore and open this installer. Run. And now we're going to install the program. Uh, all the default options should, should be fine, so just click next until it installs. Okay. Once we install the program, we should see this icon on the desktop. Now, this is a script that will patch the game. So, let's run it. Okay, once we see the press any key to quit, the patch has been completed and we can now quit by pressing any key. Now, this uh, uh, script created this file over here. Now, if you're uh, in Windows XP, uh, you should be done and you should be able to play Age of Empires 2 perfectly fine. However, I noticed that if you use this file as is in Windows Vista or Windows 7, you will have some problems when you exit the game. So in order to fix that, right click uh, the file and click edit if you are in Windows 7 or Windows Vista. And do the following. Find the line that says, uh, let's see, um, right here, this line, and add two columns to it, and then below that line, add the following, uh, the following text. I'm gonna have it in the description as well, so that you don't have to. You can just copy and paste it. So it should be task kill slash f slash im exploder.exe and then 
let's see find this line and also add columns and then below that line you want to add explorer.exe so let me explain what these lines are doing in case you don't understand when you patch the game the game comes with a file that should close explorer because the file the program explorer is causing the problems with the game the problem is that this uh, program doesn't work right for some reason so instead of using their program you can use task kill which is a command that comes with windows and then this will close the program and this line over here will open it so hopefully you understand if you don't trust me this will work fine now let's save the changes and that's it and now we should be able to play uh, the conquerors at full resolution it's gonna ask you if you want to run just click run oh yes one thing I forgot to do uh, I opened the wrong file before so you don't want to open the conquerors from now on you only want to open this file if you open this one you will be, you will be playing at the standard resolution if you want to play at your resolution just open this one instead of this one that was my mistake I'm sorry and here we are now you'll notice that is uh, is cropped but this is fine in the menu the menu is always cropped and there's nothing you can do about it but if you go and create a standard game you should be able to um, play the game in full resolution so I hope you find this video useful if you would like to see more videos and uh, just send me an email because I, I really need ideas for new videos I don't know what to do so I hope you enjoyed this video subscribe if you found it useful thank you very much